What's going on everybody? Arbor and I just chilling here. Figured I would update you guys on what's going on in our lives here. So she actually has really bad seasonal allergies. I don't know if you guys can see it, but she gets these rashes on the tip of her head and around her mouth and her eyes. She's put on all kinds of medication for it and it takes a couple weeks, but eventually it goes away. But she looks a lot better today than she has been recently. We're just kind of chilling here. Um, so I'm finished up with job interviews. I, uh, I have tentatively accepted a position out in Denver. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit more information about that later, but it's, it's an awesome opportunity and uh, I'm really excited to get my own patient base and start, start seeing patients out there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and so I'll tell you guys more about that once everything gets a little bit more solidified, it's still in the early stages. There's a lot to negotiate in optometry contracts. And then I've only got, I guess, a little less than three weeks left in Arkansas. And then I graduate and I get my doctorate, finally. I feel like I feel waiting forever. And then I'll move out to Denver that next week. So lots of fun things coming up and I'm excited to experience them and hopefully share them with you guys. So I was looking through and reading through earlier this week and I kind of want to talk about um, these re religious freedom laws. Um, I know everybody talks about these things and, and I, just to kind of describe to people what they really are and what they mean. Um, Mississippi and North Carolina both have signed new religious freedom laws into, into, um, into law. They um, give people or the organizations the ability to do things under the facade of religion. And I think it's it's pretty terrible, honestly. It's ridiculous, and I can't believe that they were signed into law. It pretty much just says that um, under religion, an organization can deny LGBT people marriage, adoption, foster care for kids. Um, they can fire people um, and refuse to employ them, which is already happening in several states across the United States already, but... Um, like this just gives places that kind of had that under control the right to do that again. And then what cra was crazy to me too is that medical professionals even um, can refuse to participate in treatments um, because of religious, because of their religious beliefs. Personally, as a medical professional, that feels unethical. Um, we take the oath, a medical oath that says we will do our best to help people no matter of what they believe in or, or what type of person they are, it doesn't matter if they're a serial killer, you, it is your job to help that person. Um, so I think that's unethical. I think that if a medical professional declined somebody help because they were an LGBT person, um, that person should not have their license anymore. That person should be allowed to practice. That's ridiculous to me. I took a lot of classes in college about like ethics and like whether or not like say like you have a Jehovah's Witness family and a kid that is gonna die needs a blood transfusion um, where pretty much they are just given blood um, from an outside source. Well, Jehovah's Witnesses don't believe in blood transfusions so that kid, the parents could decide, you know, oh, we don't want the kid to have that even though the kid may die from it. Um, like, what do you do? Do you do it anyway to save the kid or do you listen to what they had to say it's like all kinds of controversial things this is not controversial <laughs> like you an adult that is asking for care that just happens to be lgbt and is getting declined services that's absolutely absurd sorry i don't know why i ranted so much about that but that's something i feel strongly about um something else that i thought was pretty cool is um, a couple of states like new york and vermont have actually banned official like state travel to Mississippi just because of the new LGBT law. I think that's awesome. The governors of both of those states signed into a law saying that their money cannot be allocated towards going to those to go into Mississippi because the fact is that they're just being discriminated. I think so I think that's really awesome. If more states stood up and stuck up for the LGBT community like that, I feel like this wouldn't even be a problem. There are so many states out there that support the LGBT community, all they have to do is kind of stand up, make a statement saying that you know, no more travel to that state. You know, something else that's really cool is that there are several companies that are nationwide that are standing up for LGBT people too. 
Um, PayPal, for example, had this deal contracted where they were going to move to North Carolina and set up an office there. Uh, but since North Carolina passed a law that is discriminatory like this, they've actually withdrawn that offer and are going to take all of those jobs and all of those of that money that would go a lot into that portion and pay taxes into the state and take it somewhere else, somewhere that supports the LGBT community. So all in all, my opinion of this is obviously I hate it. I mean, I think it's stupid. Um, but I don't think it will last. People are changing, people are growing. And if you guys have seen my video, I went around my hometown in Arkansas and asked people their opinions and like whether or not they think we should be protected or not. And I got a lot of positive um, responses from that. I feel like we're obviously moving in the right direction. There's, it's, it's a slow process, but we definitely are going that way. My advice to anybody that lives in a bigoted area is always the same thing. Just be careful, protect yourself. Um, don't do anything that could put yourself in harm. And just note that it's gonna get better. I don't know if you guys have seen that whole Get Better campaign that they did where President Obama and all these big influencers um, talk about how you know different things are now than they used to be and how much we can predict change. Um, it's so true. Things, things will get better. These laws won't last. I mean, things are changing so quickly and I'm, I'm confident that the majority of Americans um, are strong proponents of LGBT rights. And when the majority of Americans favor something, that's what ends up happening. You can't just have these bigoted politicians come in and make a decision for a small portion of the population. If you guys have any comments or anything about the, the laws that they've made, put them in the comments below. I really do like talking about this kind of stuff. I feel like it, it empowers me and makes me feel more strongly about um, standing up and defending who we are. Um, the Human Rights Campaign is one of LGBT um, our biggest proponent. They have lobbyists in DC that stand up and fight for what we believe in. They keep you updated on a lot of things too. If you guys want to subscribe to their website, um, obviously I don't, they don't know who I am, but um, I think that they're an awesome uh, network that you should be connected with and, and look at. I actually have this sticker on my car. What's really cool is um, my mom saw the sticker in my car last week and was like, what is that sticker for? And I was like, oh, it just means that I support equal rights for all humans, no matter LGBT. And she was like, well, that's so awesome, I want one. And I actually had one in my car and she was like, will you get me one? And I gave it to her and she went over and stuck it on her car right there. She was like, I'm so proud. So people that are not LGBT, we have allies. Um, just stay strong. And uh, I'm gonna go hang out with some of my friends in Oxford, Mississippi, actually. So I'm thinking about some kind of video I can do while I'm there in a couple weeks. We'll see, I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna angle that yet, but we'll see. And then after that, I'm done in Little Rock. So I'm gonna move back to my friend's house and like get ready for graduation and stuff like that. So I'm sure I'll be doing some cool videos then, maybe some collaborations, I don't know. If you guys have any video ideas that you want me to do, put them in the comments down below. Be sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, social media, whatever. And then, um, Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next week. So I just rub it all on. That stinks because I just showered. I'm actually going to do...